YouTube. I'll see you on YouTube, man. Yes, sir. Hi everybody, I'm just uh, another rapper trying to fit in with the hip hop community by rapping on this beat. I suppose this is the part where I'm supposed to make a bunch of weird noises like the original song, right? Is that close enough? Killing them just for listening, be literal. I'm lyrically shitting on all these simpletons. They know that I'm the illest. I'm filling up with adrenaline, a veteran. I'm heavy like metal. My shit is venomous. You better get me set it as effortless with the premise. If I'm deadly, get it never. I said it, I never let it live. You better send them better than anybody. Just send them in. They say I look like a panda, but me, I think I look way more like a bear. Fuck a fork in the road, put the fork in your ear. Cause I'm morbidly tortured, I torture career. Sitting on a porch with a beer and a semi automatic pistol. You've been warned, I don't care. Kill you, then I pick the body up from the ground, then I take a selfie with your corpse in the mirror. Yeah, I'm the car in the here, chloroform in your orange juice. sort of just weird. I was born in a poor, but it's all full of fear. So, of course, I was forced to be cold this year, huh? I'm gonna stop right, there, killing Caribbean. Going on. All right, what's up, YouTube? What's going on? Your boy, Lockout Man, in the truck here at the Loves down here in Gary, Indiana. What's going on? All right, so me and my man's old dog, and old dog, this is for you, bro. This is for you, man. Uh, I'm right here at the Loves in Gary, Indiana. We talked about truck driver safety, truck driver violence uh truck driver awareness but me and you got into like a little debate uh i wouldn't call it a heated debate but you say bro that most of the violence like like robberies and 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 violence and stuff like that comes from other truck drivers i guess me and toe jam says that you know statistics says it comes from the neighborhood that the truck stops are in so what i'm about to do for you bro i'm about to go out here and pull these drivers here in the driver island right here at the loves and get their opinion and their thoughts on truck driver violence whether it's coming from other truck drivers or does it comes from the people in the neighborhood that the truck stops are in Brother man, let's go out here and find out and see what these uh, other truck drivers have to say about our little debate that we got going on in Truck Talk and Chill, the Zello app. What's going on, Cap? Hey, let me ask you a question, man. How long you been driving? About a year. About a year? Do you think, in your opinion, that the violence against truck drivers does it come from other truck drivers or does it come from the neighborhoods that the truck stops are in? Violence, like physical violence. Yeah, like physical violence, robberies and stuff like that. I would probably say it, it may be the area. The area? Like some people have a thing against truck drivers. So if there's an area that particularly the truckers or Say some people might be as aggressive to follow a trucker to a truck stop if they happen to be going the same direction. Let me ask you a quick question right quick. Is the violence coming from other truck drivers or is it from the neighborhood that the truck that the truck stops are in? See, I got some tough coworkers, man, so we've had some incidences where I work, you know, mm -hmm. guys just uh around for a long time and get on each other's nerves. I, I don't see a lot at the truck stops. I get I get question from time to time for you know with the gas can story needing a few dollars when i see something coming up man i'm backing up and i'm looking to get out of the line of fire because you know the, the secret is to keep moving you know so if you see a situation that looks a little strange relocate there you go because your, your gut instincts will tell you something's not right but then sometimes you get ambushed so i i don't know you know I can get ambushed right now. How you feel? Good. How long, how long you been driving out here? Around like 10 years. 10 years? Does the violence come from other truck drivers? Or does it come from the area that the truck stops are in? Never, never face anybody. Same like the high crime area. I got a quick question for you, yo. How long you been driving? 35 years. 35 years? 20. Oh, 25 years? Truck driver violence. Do you think it comes from other truck drivers? or the area that the truck stops are in. Oh, I don't, I don't have an opinion. So far, 
Uh, we got a couple of drivers that says that, you know, violence could be from the area, old dog. I don't know yet. I mean, it's only a few that says it could be from the area. But I'm not done asking, man. So let me ask this guy right here. What's up, bro? You a truck driver? Yeah. All right, let me ask you this. Truck driver violence, all right? In your opinion, does it come from other truck drivers or the area that the truck stops are in? The area the truck stops are in. The shit, why you say that? I mean, we all got love for each other, you know what I mean? But it's other people that, that don't like trucks getting in their way, stuff like that, just, you know, or the area that you're in, so. Exactly. Stay safe out here, man. There's the area, one for the area. How long you been driving out here? Long time. Do you feel that the violence come from other truck drivers or the area that the truck stops are in? The area. The area. Why you say? Well, I've experienced it. On your person or you well, are you just, just mouthy people. Guy was associated with the truck stop. Ended up being an employee there and he was hopped up on something and mm -hmm. talking about came from a party where he choked somebody out for talking bad to a lady at the party and he brought that and he wasn't even on duty at the time he had nowhere else to go and then he was just lipping all over the place you know but i've never experienced it with a trucker at all you're kind of famous aren't you i've seen you on uh youtube i've seen you on youtube man yes sir this be you reach a lot of people thank you so, thank you all right man take care which kind of this ought to be um, just find out the crime. Oh uh, no, I'm, no, I'm a YouTuber. Oh. So you know, right now the the topic of discussion is truck driver violence. Hey, what's, what's up, brother man? How you get that 80 off of that? If you slide, if you slide, if you slide it forward too much, you you'll you'll probably mess up your drives. But if you could just slide it maybe once. just I once, know. you should be good. You should be good. No doubt, man. Appreciate you. I got people out here saying that I am kind of famous. I'm not famous. I'm, I'm just a guy out here that enjoys what he does. What's going on, brother man? Jam. Oh, OK. I think that's Mary Mary. I'm like, that's jamming. OK. How long you been driving out here? 19 years. 19 years? Truck driver violence. Is it caused by other truck drivers or the neighborhood that the truck stops are in? The other truck drivers. Why you say that? A lot of truck drivers have attitudes out here anyway. Mm-hmm. They're pissed off because their dispatch ain't treated them right. Right. Uh, things happen. Right. Then they get in the truck stops, mm -hmm. and they have attitude because they ain't been home. They're not getting home when they want to get home. Check ain't right. But instead of talking to the person that's screwing with that stuff, mm -hmm. because they're afraid of dispatch, talking to management, they come out here and have attitude. With, mm -hmm. They get attitudes when you come in because I pissed them off. Mm -hmm. And now you come out and then before you know it, over a parking spot like they did a couple of weeks ago, drivers are shooting at one another. Exactly, exactly. Check me out on YouTube and if you're on the Zello channel, check us out in Truck Talk and Chill. I got a quick question for you, sweetheart. How long you been driving out here? About 18 years. 18 years? Lock out, like you, you lock out men. Do you think the violence is caused by other truck drivers? or the neighborhood that the truck stops are in? Good question. Not necessarily the neighborhood that the, truck, that the trucks are in. If it did a driver, it could be the drivers of a truck, driver of vehicles, you know, cars. Not, not the neighborhood so much. I think of the drivers themselves. You know, the violence and stuff, not just on the roads, driving, not the neighborhood. Sometimes it is the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. but then when you talk about driving, it can be caused by like, either driver, you know, being. Truck driver violence. Is it caused by other truck drivers or is it the area that the truck stops are in? But you make a video, right? Yeah. I don't think he understand a word I said. Old dog. Old dog. Old dog. Yo, man, I I don't know, man. I, I think um I think I'm coming around to your thinking, bruh. What's going on? All right. So, old dog, is it, is it what you say, man? I mean, a lot of truck drivers that I had talked to so far, some of them foreign, and I really don't think they understood what I was saying, but some of them that I have talked to, 
some of them feel that the violence do come from other truck drivers, bro. So, this is for you, man. Anyway, look, guys. Check me out on the Zello app. We're in uh, Truck Talk and Chill. All right. If you guys want to holler at me, come over, download the app, and uh, hop on and and get into some good conversation, man. That's that's what we do over there. That's what we do. We do good conversation. So get on board with it. And what do you guys think? You know, leave it in the comments below. You know what I'm saying? Do you guys feel that the violence comes from other truck drivers, or does it come from the neighborhoods that the truck that the uh, truck stops are in? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll talk to you guys in another video. Peace. This guy, but y'all just living lies. And the shit that you're doing right now is not hard, motherfucker. Here, let me try. All you gotta do is talk about a bunch of shit that you don't have. Maybe rent the car and then rent the chain and then drink some lean and just go ham. Yeah. I got arm and hammer. I'm so fat they think I'm Santa. Tater tots and some fennel. Jose and damn come down. Jessica, Hannah, Jasmine, Amanda, Jessica, Hannah.